Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in, week out, prophesying this truth and a prophecy of the Holy Bible. And the return of our Heavenly Father and His Heavenly Son to set up the everlasting kingdom for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so called, in the confusion of faith, scattered wherever you may be. That spirit bear witness with this truth, and bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Rachakwadash, which is the Heavenly Father name and the Son name, who the world ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus. And Baha Rachakwadash is in the Holy Spirit. We're we able to understand these prophecies, these parables, and these mysteries of the Holy Scriptures. And go out and declare it in true sincerity and charity and the Holy Spirit. And that's what the true worshipers will do, as the scriptures say. And double honors to our elders and apostles of great millstone, which the Most High set up to push his word out in true sincerity and charity. The holy prophets and apostles back to there in the reincarnation, pushing his word out in true sincerity and charity. And Shalom to all you brothers that do likewise, preach the proper name and doctrine wherever ye may be. Shalom. I'm going to go into this scripture real quick, man, because the man of the Lord here today, back in the reincarnation, yes, in the flesh, that yes, went off. But the men of the Lord, the brothers, to be exact, it's a blessing, man. The scriptures tell you that. You know? I want me to get that one first. It's Ecclesiastes 4 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor, man. Anything you do is better to have somebody with you, man. Yeah, we got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. You know? You got to walk this path alone. You got to believe and you got to show your own works. No man can save you what they do or what they believe. That's the mindset you should have. But nevertheless, man, the brothers is a blessing, man. Keep you on point. Keep you strong. Correct you. Rebuke you, man, when you're going off. You got demons on you. Brothers pray and anoint you to get them demons off you. You know? With the holy anointing oil, you, man. Not just no madness. Say so two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift his fellow. So if you fall, man, getting weak, you know, you're just slipping, the brother will pick you up, man. I'm not talking about falling out the truth completely, you know, because scriptures say, hey, he that put his hand to the plow looking back, hey, he's not fit to be the Lord's disciple, man. The Lord ain't got no pleasure in people that do that. You know, especially when you're, you're fully convinced, you start going out teaching and preaching, and you just fall away completely, man, and just go into the world like, fuck it, and just continue to commit adultery and just do wickedness and wax worse and worse. Hey, the Lord ain't dealing with nobody like that. No, nevertheless, you know, you know, brothers get weak and fall off and, you know, go missing in action, man. You know, but uh, as long as they keep their integrity, man, you know, there's still hope, you know? So we got to pick each other back up. You know, but again, as the scripture saying, Hebrews, man, if they fall away, man, it's over with, man. The Lord knows, but nevertheless, it says, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone. When he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. And that's why we have a thing called order. Because order is in the scriptures, order is in the heavens. The Lord is about order, so his men is about order. We have the brotherhood set up, you know, we have a chain of command. You know, we have to communicate. We have to do calls, man. Give reports. We have to be diligent in our work, man. In our studies and read. You know, everything I say, every video I make, it goes for myself too, man. I ain't exempt from nothing. I'm trying. I'm striving. But I know I can make videos for brothers that go through likewise things or edified things I've been edified on. Through the Holy Spirit, of course. You know, but that's why we have the brotherhood, the different camps, the different churches, you know. And we call them camps, but it's really the churches. We're the true churches, man. The true men of the Lord. It's a blessing to have that. To fight this fight with somebody. To defend the gospel with somebody. To talk with somebody when, you have an, uh, when you're down in the spirit, man. Someone you see eye to eye with. That know what this world is about. That know what, 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 the, what the end of it coming and what's coming after it, man. That's a blessing, man. They say, but woe to him that is alone. When he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. So if you by yourself or you don't want to join the camps and you got that spirit and it's not about camps and camps going off and the camp wars, you're not in the right spirit, man, because it's not camp wars and camps are not going off. That was ordained by the Lord, man. Paul wrote different letters to the churches, man. 
you know? And it's not camp wars, man. You have the true man marking those that cause division, calling them out on their madness, and warning the people of false prophets, just as we warn the people of the wicked, Esau Edom, just as we warn the people of the destruction that's coming. It's not a camp war, man. That's another wicked spirit that's out there. Another device of Satan, man. Say again, if two lie together, then they have heat. You know, the scripture say you either hot or cold, man. And you're going to stay hot by talking to brothers, being around brothers, hopping in brothers' videos, going to class, dealing with brothers, going down the highways and bad ways. You stay heat. Heated, man. You stay on walking in that path, man. You keep your eye focused on what, what we fighting for, man. You be reminded. Sometimes you forget. Why? Because we in this flesh, man. This flesh is prone to go off. This flesh is definitely prone to get weak. This flesh is definitely prone to wicked thoughts, man. But through the scriptures, through the Holy Spirit, through the brotherhood, man, we have that as a defense, man. And that is a blessing, which is the point of this lesson. They say, but how can one be warm alone? So how could you get some heat alone, man? Well, you just in it by yourself. And you've been a, just going back and forth with your own wicked thoughts, man. There's no one to correct you. You lean on your understanding, thinking that's the right way. That's the breakdown. And that's a slippery slope, man, that you shouldn't want to play. That's why the Lord got churches set up, man, which is camps. Particularly those of Great Millstone and other brothers that preach the proper name and doctrine. Like Men of Valor and DTA, man. It says, if one prevail against him, two shall withstand. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken, man. So we defend the gospel together. Something you know, don't know that another brother know. And we all defend it together because what? It's a body, man. It's a body of the Yahweh Basham al -Shai. You know? And now I'm going to jump to the scripture. This is uh, James 5 and 13. Is there, among, is there any among you afflicted? Look up that word afflicted. To suffer evils, hardships, troubles, to be afflicted. To undergo hardships, endure affliction, suffer trouble. In all shapes, forms, of fashion, man. So let's see. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Scripture say pray without ceasing. That's our defense. We got the proper name to pray to. Scripture say he was going to manifest. Uh, he declared his name unto the brothers. You know. Uh... Get that real quick. D. Real quick. Uh, I'm going to find a scripture real quick. The Lord declared his name unto us, man. Therefore, we get we got the proper name to pray to, man. Not all here on the send off mission. Amos 3 and 7 says, Surely he, the Lord do nothing. He revealed his secrets unto his service, the prophets. You think he didn't reveal his name? Colossians 1 and 26, man. Say, so saying, Hebrews 2 and 12, saying, I would declare thy name unto my brother in the midst of the church while I sing praise unto thee. And that church means the one that on the highways and byways are gathering the citizens called out from their homes into some public place and assembly. Not in those Harley house, man. Acts tells you the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, man. So going back to the scriptures, who are you praying to? Not no idols. Not no Yeshua and Yahweh and Jehovah and Jesus, man. But if we're afflicted, if we weak and sick, we pray to the true name, whether ourselves or the brothers, which the whole point is lesson, because why? The brother is a blessing, man. The Lord said the men of the Lord up is a blessing, because they have the name, they have the true doctrine in the midst of this crooked, perverse generation. A bunch of sellouts and people seeking fame and lovers of themselves and murderers and haters and backbiters and envious, man. It says, is any Mary among, is any Mary? Let him sing songs. Look at that word Mary. To be in good spirits, make cheerful, you know, because you got brothers that be in good spirits, man. Let them sing psalms, man. Look at that word psalms. It says, uh, because this truth is the true psalms, man. Okay, this is the true song we sing, man. Because it says, uh, you know, it's going to like playing on an instrument, thing like that. Say, so celebrate the divine worship with music and accompany, uh, 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 oh, Odd, odds point being is hey, if there's any happy among you man okay let him continue to praise the Lord let him continue to sing songs man to so celebrate the most high glory the most high man 
could. And it's a true song that we singing, man. It says, any sick among you, and that word sick, it means to be weak, man. Feeble, without strength. Also, it could be disease, brothers. Different brothers deal with afflictions in the flesh, ailments and disease in the flesh. Rather born with it or just got it from this wicked ass world or some wicked ass bitch. No. We pray. We heal each other through the Holy Spirit. Say, any is sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with the oil in the name of the Lord. That go that name, which was declared unto us, man. Which was manifest unto his saints. Which the world ain't which the world can understand, man. Unique so a lot of people, a lot of people can understand, man, because it ain't given to them. Only the elect, which we hope to be. You know? And not just no random oil, but the, the true a holy, sacred, uh, separate, sanctified oil, man. You know? And also this truth, man. This truth is like unto oil, man. You know, and I'm gonna get that real quick. This uh so like uh This first John 2 and 20, but ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. We look at that word unction, I mean, anything smeared on, it really is the Holy Spirit, man, first and foremost. Okay, but the Lord, the wisdom of the Lord is manifold. So anything smeared on, uh, ugent, ointment, usually prepared by the Hebrews from oil and aromic herbs, anointing was the inaugural ceremony of the priests. Are not we a nation of priests? Do not we have this truth? If you okay, if you have this truth, man, you could be healed, okay? You could be made strong, man. You could be a, uh, 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 relieved of your afflictions, man. You could be comforted of your afflictions and troubles and hardships, man. Okay? But point being is it's the Holy Spirit first and foremost. But also this truth is on you, man. It says... And let them pray over him with the anointing oil, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. You know, pouring the oil on brother's head, man. Laying hands on him and praying the name of Yahweh Basham out, shout a true name so he can be healed, man. But also, if you continue in this truth, you have this truth, which comes with it, the brotherhood, that is a blessing, man. It's saying, the prayer of the faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be given him. You no, know? the brothers coming fresh out the world, just coming in and stand on the side, man. The proselytes, man. You know, coming out of this world, we all sick, which means weak and feeble, man. We all afflicted. So giving them this truth, anointing them with this truth, hey, that'll that 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 save them, man. That'll that heal them. That'll make you stronger to fight the hardships, knowing hey, I, I got a reward after this. I keep the law, statutes, commandments to my best ability. I stop doing this and that. I got a reward. I fight off the flesh and fight the people that scoff me. I got a reward. I defend the gospel. Come out week in, week out. Regardless, I got a reward. They say, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You know? But we got to confess our faults, man. We got to convert and come back, man. You got to talk to the brothers when you're down, man. That's how you get strong. You know? This is Malachi 3 and 16. They that fear the Lord spake often one to another, and Yahweh hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that fear Yahweh and thought upon his name. They go that name again, man. Thinking upon his name, which was declared and manifest unto his saints, just as the prophecies, man. Okay? But not only that, man, this book, the Holy Bible, man, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, four time written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, man. This is our comfort. This is our hope. Okay? We fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fool despise instructions. Proverbs 1 and 7, man. It says, And they shall be mine, saith the hour of hosts. And that day when I make up my jewels, I will spare them as a man spared his own son that saveth them. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth not. That spirit of understanding, that spirit of discernment, that Holy Spirit, which rests with his holy man through all ages, as the scriptures say, prove the reincarnation. 
you know? This uh, Hebrews 12 and 12. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees. And make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the weight, but let it rather be healed. So you got to comfort the brothers. You got to heal. You got to pray for the brothers, man. Which lets you know the brotherhood is a blessing, you know? Because a lot of people, they get weak, man. They get feeble. They get sick. They, get, they go through afflictions and hardship, make you want to fall out and give up. That's why I say make straight paths for your feet. Let's that which is lame be turned out of the way, man. You know? Say, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Look in diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness spring up, trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. You know, that's why we got to uh, always remember charity, love, mercy, and following what the scriptures say do, the book of remembrance. And every man got to do his part to ensure that. It's Matthew 17 and 20. And Yahweh shall say unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have the faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mount, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So if you got a small thing of faith, man, you could do a lot, man. And the Lord will increase you. Okay? Because having his knowledge, wisdom, understanding, having faith, that is a gift, man. And it is the uh, earnest down payment, man. That's the first level of spiritual powers. Say, how be it this can go if not out, but by prayer and fasting. So being weak, being sick, being able to fight off the, uh, the trickery of the devil and the, uh, the things of this world. Praying and fasting is key to continue to do it. And that's really the point I want to make on that, you know. The brotherhood is a blessing and everything that come with it. No. But Lord willing, hope the last was that a fine. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone, shall most have set up. Shalom.